What's up guys? Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Today is install day. We've actually got two packages. One's from Radiator Grill Store and then the other is from Angry Off Road. Both of these companies sent over these products for me to go ahead and install and review for them. First we'll start off with the Radiator Grills and then we'll leave the Angry Off Road for the very end as a bonus. So stay tuned to find out what this is. Alright, let's see what we got here. Got paper. Ooh. So the guys over at Radiator Grill Store sent us their entire kit. Check this out. One, two, three, four, five, six pieces. They got all the grills and then zip ties and a beer koozie. These things are actually really thick. Seem like really good quality. See how they fit. So you guys will notice we have three different shapes here. One of the grills goes in there. One of the grills I believe goes in here. And then the last grill set goes in your side vents. Alright, let's get the C8 pulled in the garage. Put it up on jack stand so we can get these grills installed. To install the front four pieces, you actually have to lift the car up. We gotta go in from underneath. We gotta take out a few panels and then slide the grills up and then use the provided zip ties in order to secure them down. Alright, so before I started the install, I wanted to show you guys their website. It's radiatorgrillstore.com. This is for the 2020 Chevrolet Corvette. They've got actually three different types you can get. One's an aluminum octagon radiator grill. One's the ABS plastic, which is the one we got. And then the last one, just an aluminum. So if you don't like it black, you can get the aluminum look. If you guys don't like my install video, they have an install section right here. You click on that. They started with Porsches. But then they just got into Corvettes too. So you click on Corvette there. It's gonna take you all the way down here at the bottom. And then there's two sections one's for the radiator grill section and one's for the side section. Radiator Grill Store also has been so generous to offer you guys a 5% discount code as well. So when you guys go buy your radiator grills, make sure you guys go enter the promo code section, put in RWDC8, should get you guys 5% off. Bada bing, bada boom. 11 bucks off a complete set. First thing you wanna do is grab your puck. Oh no, I'm missing one. Oh no. So a lot of times when you're jacking this car up and putting it back on the ground, you'll forget to take these things off the frame. You'll leave them on there and they'll end up flying off on the road somewhere. I think this is my third one now. But I get asked this every single time, so we're going to show you guys where to jack it up and where to put the jack stands. You're going to use your little puck here. So you're going to slide up under the car and right in the frame, you're going to see a little cutout. You're going to slide your puck right in there, turn it, and it comes in there. Before we start just going jacking it up, remember safety first, get some wheel chocks on there. Make sure you guys set your parking brake, get her jacked up. Right here in the frame there's a little area this is where i like to put the jack stand i'm gonna put her up one just to make it a little easier when we're under there get as much clearance as possible all right we got the passenger side up i always like to keep the jack under there just in case three is always better than two right all right so once you get it jacked up you need to take off this front lip which consists of 21 t15 screws should be the last one I missed one somewhere. No. Nope. All right. And there goes our front splitter. 21 screws. All right. So this is the area we're working in. So we need to take off this panel right here. All right. In order to get this panel off, it looks like we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight T15s. Woof. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And eight should be the last one. Let's see. Is there one more over there? Oh yeah, I think there's one more inside. Inside this guy right here, I believe there's one more. Yeah, okay, seven mil or eight mil. I believe it's a seven mil. So it should be eight T15s and one seven mil to get that side piece out. And then this thing should just slide out. All right, so now that we got this bottom piece out, you guys can see where you slide the grills right up in there. All right, so I just took off the driver's side piece that we took off on the passenger side. They say you don't need this middle panel taken off, but it's only four bolts, so I'm gonna take it off just to see if we get a little extra clearance in there. So you've got four seven mils. Let's see. It should slide out. When you guys are trying to figure out which side these grills go on, one of the sides will have these little pegs in the back. Just make sure that goes in the back and the smooth side goes up front. All right, so this is our first piece. This is gonna be our front brake duct grill piece. We're gonna slide it up in there and try to slide it all the way over. All right, so remember, you're gonna to wanna to go in between your original grill and the brake duct. I'm gonna go back in first and then slide it over that way. So we're gonna go up. Now the instructions do recommend wearing gloves because this stuff is sharp. I don't have any, so we're gonna fight through it here. But what we're gonna do is once we have this thing in there, we're gonna wanna slide it over that way. And once you find the sweet spot, it should just slide straight in. That was pretty easy. So the grill you guys can see is right behind our original grill. This is a side shot over here. You don't see it over here. You see a little bit of it hanging out there. From underneath, since we took out this big piece right here, you guys can see the brake duct. So essentially the grill is sitting in that brake duct, just like that. This taking off this piece doesn't really help you out with actually grabbing it, but you can kind of see a lot better. Actually, you can kind of grab it. I'm not gonna tighten anything down yet. I'm gonna get this other grill in, get everything positioned, and then I'll start zip tying everything together. All right, now we're going for the actual big section right here. We're gonna slide 
slide this guy up in here. All the way up. Alright. And then you just want to pull it up towards the front of the bumper. Guys, that was pretty freaking simple. Front brake duct, slide that into the right first, and then this one slides up right up next to it. Doesn't really get much easier than that. Now online, in their instructions, they show exactly where you want to put all the zip ties. It looks like two are going to go right behind here, and then we got three more. So one somewhere around here, one right there, and one right there. Here's a better look from underneath of what we got going on. So yeah, the two grills actually made up next to each other. Push the other grill up next to it, it actually lines up. Alright, so for the front brake duct grill, what I ended up doing, put two zip ties, one right there, and then one one right there. I put them loose. I don't have them super tight yet. Once I get this grill on, then I'll go ahead and tighten this one down. So what I'm going to do is push this grill up to line up with the other grill. All right, we're just going to snip off this end and then we'll rotate it around. We're going to rotate that guy around in there a little bit. All right, guys, we got the passenger side dumb. We got one zip tie there, one zip tie there, one zip tie there. And then inside here, we got one zip tie there, one zip tie there that I need to cut the ends off of. All right, so the reason why I didn't do this mod in the very beginning was because I was a little skeptical about how it mounted to the car. I didn't like the idea of the zip ties holding the thing on because I thought it would look bad. But honestly, it's all black. It all blends together. You don't even see these, especially where you would be standing looking at the car. It's kind of hidden by all the other stuff. So guys, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Get one more look here for you guys. So we've got it flush up against our original grill. The brake duct actually pushes the grill up onto your original grill here. Underneath, this is what it looks like. You guys can see the two grills made up to each other perfectly. All right, now we got the driver's side done. We got two zip ties in here, one and two. And then on the outside grill, we got one, two, and three. I'm gonna go ahead and get her button back up and then we'll do the side grills. All right, guys, we got her out in the sunlight now. Sorry for the noise. As you can see, those radiators are now well protected. You got the honeycomb grill in there. It's actually the same hexagon shape as the stock so that looks really cool but yeah now instead of being able to get like big one inch rocks through there we're only gonna get like I don't know eighth of an inch rocks through there it'll definitely help save those radiators that's for sure super easy to install I don't know maybe 30 45 minutes total all right so the first one we're gonna do is the passenger side the way you want to have it set up is this little notch you want to have it pointing towards the outside we're gonna slide this in fat side first down in there we're gonna put this front edge up to the top and then the inside edge we're gonna push it towards the inside of the car. We're gonna try to fold it back behind this body panel, just like so. We're gonna try to get it all the way slid over to the inside of the car. And then what you're gonna wanna do, once you get it in this position, you're gonna wanna push the center towards the back of the car to kinda make the grill go concave. And then pull this bottom portion where that big lip was, you're gonna pull it out towards the front of the car in front of these tabs. All right guys, I'm not gonna lie to you, the side ones are a little challenging. It's gonna take you a second to kinda get it into the position you want it to go. An Allen key will definitely help. Ultimately, what you wanna do is you wanna get that grill in front of that bolt, so that kinda holds it together. And then you wanna get this flat piece right here next to this piece of plastic right here, so it sits flat right there. Up top, it's gonna look something like that. You're gonna put that grill right in front of that bolt. I think it's a ground bolt, but yeah, should look something similar to that right there. It's not easy, guys. It's gonna take a lot of patience. It probably took me about, I don't know, five to 10 minutes to get the side in. But you guys can see, she's in there. Anything hits it, it's not moving. She's not going anywhere. All right, so now for the driver's side, again, flat piece out. We're gonna put the fatter in and the inside. You're gonna wanna tuck the inside behind the fender again. I push the middle and fold the outside. All right, I think we got the driver's side where we want it. So here on the driver's side, we got the bottom of it in front of that front bolt. We've got this flat spot between these two plastic pieces right here. The front sitting up there in front of that. She looks good. Not gonna lie guys, the side pieces are a little bit of a pain. An Allen wrench with a long handle will really be helpful. But that radiator grill should do the job. Keep all the rocks out. If you guys are interested in this radiator grill set, it's at radiatorgrillstore.com. I'll have the link in the description below. They have it to where you can buy just the outside ones or the inside ones or the side gills or you can get the complete set. The product is definitely quality. It's definitely sturdy. That ABS plastic is like a quarter inch thick. Pretty good stuff. The guys over at radiator grill store gave me a promo code to give to you guys to get 5% off. So that's going to be RWDC8. Go ahead and put that in the promo code so you guys get 5% off your radiator grills. All right, now time for our bonus product. So Eric over at Angry Off-Road sent me this. They're actually the Corvette strut tower covers that I've been talking about that I need in the past. So I guess the guys over at Angry Off-Road set up a new website called chstrutcovers.com. On that website, you can order these strut covers. They're made of plastic, made in the USA. Instructions on the inside, there's a link to it right there. The instructions look pretty simple. You just need a pry tool, 10 millimeter socket and some wire cutters. All right, step one is to get this all disassembled. So you're gonna wanna pull over here, pull right there, get this plastic piece out. Looks like so. On the passenger side, same thing. Back here, pull up, front pull up. That middle piece, there's four clips, one right here. 
One up there, one more on this side, and one more up here. This whole piece slides out. Over on the driver's side, we got a set of wires that are on top of that strut tower, so they want you to take that off. All right, once you get that wire set off that strut tower, we're gonna wanna take this 10 millimeter bolt off of the coolant reservoir. <laughs> Now we're gonna take our cover, slide it in here. We wanna slide this tab in between the reservoir and the strut tower. Is that it? That's it. And then tighten down your 10 millimeter bolt. So the reason why you wanna put these strut covers on is because you can see down these holes, I've got water sitting in there. You have three nuts that hold on your coilover and they're essentially just getting rusted out. Can't be good for the car. All right, so the instructions say to slide this side in first towards the fender, the tab sticking out, and then you're gonna wanna rotate this and try not to damage anything, any of these lines or reservoirs or anything. Mmm, this one's a little tricky. It's a really tight fit. I think this is one of those things you just gotta commit to. Yeah, it's a tight fit, but once you slide it in that way and rotate it, it works. You just gotta commit to it and just be careful of these lines in this reservoir. But once it's in, it's in. There is a piece of double-sided tape that's on this cover that's on the back right here. Once you get that double-sided tape ready to go, you're gonna push it to the back there so it sticks to that back firewall. And then they do supply one zip tie, so you can go ahead and zip tie this piece on to the hard line next to it. Go ahead and tighten her down. Cut this piece off here and bada bing bada boom you're done now we got bull strut towers covered don't have to worry about any more rain or anything else getting in there all right we got our button all back up Woo. not too bad not too bad radiator grills are in strut tower covers are in overall both installations not too bad just a little bit of patience maybe a beer or two radiator grill story has you covered they already know but yeah guys super happy with both products special thanks to both eric's that sent me those products one at radiatorgrillstore.com and one over at chstrutcovers.com but guys that's gonna do it for the end of the video both websites will be in the link below so go ahead and check those out and make sure you guys use rwdc8 as your promo code for the radiator covers if you guys like that video go ahead and hit that like button if you guys haven't subscribed please go ahead and do that as well and we'll see you guys next video later